Mr. Parker here to review uh, a movie I purchased uh, from Brazil. It is by, uh, uh, I think, a pretty famous uh, Brazilian horror director. He's directed a few movies. And Rodrigo uh, Arango, I cannot pronounce last names. I'm sorry, I know I mispronounced it. But the movie I'll be reviewing is Mangu Negro, which is uh, Mud Zombies. This is a two-disc edition. I only watched the movie. I'm not sure if the special features are sub-friendly, English-friendly, but the movie is in, I believe, Portuguese with English and Spanish subtitles. I watched it with English subtitles. And, uh, you know, I haven't been too familiar with Brazilian horror movies, but I saw the trailers for his new movie, uh, Black Sea, or Dark Sea, and that looked very interesting, so I uh, went and got a couple more of his movies uh, to check out, see uh, what he has to offer. And uh, Mud Zombies is, uh, if you were to take... Uh, Lucio Faulty Zombie and put it in a swamp in Brazil. That's what I think you would come out with. There's also, I, I see some uh, inspiration by maybe Return of the Living Dead 3, some of the, the zombies, disgustingness and gooey and the, the whole one with the elongated uh, vertebrae sticking out. And even slimy creatures moving and stuff kind of similar to, I don't know, something wacky like a uh, basket case, but not as goofy or anything like that. Brain dead, something like that, or dead alive. <laughs> But uh, it's a lot more serious than that, even though it does have some a little bit of humor to it. But uh, Mud Zombies follows the uh, story about uh, kind of a mangrove that is so rotten and disgusting that pretty much everything inside it's dead. You can't find anything to eat. These people basically make a living off it, uh, and they're very poor. So basically they have nothing to eat, and nothing uh, comes from this place, so they are starving and in hard times. And on top of this, uh, these creatures, uh, people are getting poisoned from the swamp and ending up being zombies and things like that. And these nasty, slimy, disgusting zombies come crawling out of the swamp. And uh, this movie's actually on location, so you get some really creepy locations. And you realize it's a dangerous, dangerous place, let alone without zombies. <laughs> I love the scenery in here, the uh, the big roots sticking up, uh, the sinking mud, stuff like that. And uh, there's a lot of puppet zombies. Uh, I think a Dead Next Door or something like that. Or and they look uh, a lot of them look like Return of the Living Dead type deal. But it reminds me of instead of the you know the maggots and the flesh, it's like the slime. So I, I feel the zombies have good special effects, and uh, it really does feel like if Lucio Fulci directed a, a zombie movie in Brazil. And uh, 
I love that. Uh, I love that to it. It is a little long, hour and 44 minutes, but it does have the superstitious stuff in there as well. Old lady uh, telling them all this kind of stuff, and people with that small town superstitious feel a little bit. Uh, so that also plays in uh, into the uh, Fulci realm or whatever. Uh, enough about Fulci, though. I would recommend this as good, uh, nasty gore. Maybe take a little time to get started off, but I think people have a lot of fun with it, and uh, it is uh, really... I get the atmosphere alone is awesome because uh, where it takes place and it looks like it's no CGI in here either so you got to give it up for that nasty slimy gross stuff here cool zombies cool scenery uh, pretty cool plot as well as far as you can get with zombie movies and elaborate and things like that and uh, some of the characters are likable as well it also does kind of follow three different characters or three different people in the swamp at first and of course they all meet up by the end and uh, there's also a weird camera thing I noticed that it seems to be his type of his style where it will zoom in really fast and go fast and all of a sudden stop on something and do the, go really fast again, kind of like through the horde of zombies to show how many there are. But uh, yeah, it is uh, fairly, you can see a lot of different uh, influences in there that normally I don't think would get mixed. And that is uh, very cool. And uh, I would recommend this, uh, checking it out for sure, especially zombie fans that are sick of the same old, same old crap, because uh, you should probably look for foreign horror films uh, if you want to see a different type zombie movie. But uh, I would recommend this. This is Mud Zombies. Uh, there'll be a link below to buy. And uh, this is pretty cool stuff here. Take care.